Hi, I'm Brent from Learning to Fish, and today I'm going to tell you about a, one of the rigs I like to use when it's really hard to catch anything. Uh, so if you're having a hard time getting a fish on the hook, try out the wacky rig. So what is a wacky rig? Basically, for the most part, it's a hook with a worm on it in the middle. There's some fancy tools and tricks you can do to to change it up a little bit more, but that's pretty much all it is. Um, the rod, uh, reel, I don't pay too much attention to the reel for this. I just use a spinning rod and, and reel. Um, I have a Abu Garcia Ultramax right here. I think I got it at Dick's for like 50, 60 bucks. It's a 6'6", six, 6'6", six, six six, uh, medium action uh, combo. And I have 15 pound Power Pro braid with about six or seven foot of uh, Seaguar eight, uh, eight pound fluorocarbon line. Well, let me show you what you do to set up a wacky rig. There's a couple things you're going to need to set up a wacky rig. Some things are optional. And depending on how much money and time you have, there's a couple tricks I'll show you that will help you get by as well. As you can see, uh, most of the baits I'm going to show you are going to be worms, uh, stick baits, or trick worms. I'll show you the hooks I use, and then I'll explain this tool and these little O rings. Alright, so first, let's look at. Let's actually look at the hooks first. So this, I use a about a size one to about two watt uh, hook for this. A lot of times I'll just use a regular bait hook. Uh, this one is, I believe, a one, one to two watt um, wacky rig style hook, and it's weedless. It's got these little plastic weed guards on it. They're pretty flimsy. Uh, but it does work if you're fishing around a lot of grass or or, or vegetation. Uh, it will work. Uh, I don't prefer them if I can get away with them. I'd rather just use a regular uh, open hook like this. This is a one uh Eagle Claw just live bait hook. I seem to hook up a little bit better. Um, with hooks without the weed guards on them. This is my preference. You can also use a EWG or extra wide grab hook. Just different styles. If you have a really really thick plastic um, or if this is all you have it'll still work. So don't worry too much about that. Alright, so rigging. This is a wacky tool. Uh, this one's made by Field and Stream. They're all pretty similar. It looks like a pin. has a screw that goes in and out on one end. You can slide these little O-rings over like over it like that until you get them on. Or you can just take the screw out, load the screw up, and then slide it back on. The basic uh, need for this tool is to get these little O-rings on. You don't have to have it, but it does help. Basically all you do is you take the tool, you take your worm, slide your worm in the tool. Some worms are longer than others. So you take it out about halfway. It's about halfway for this worm. You'll grab a band, slide it down the tool until you get to the end. And then it pops on. If you want to take it off, you just slide it off. But this one's ready to go. You just have to put the hook in it. Alright, so again, you'll take your hook. And what I like to do is see if I can come in close for you. I like to come and skin hook it. And skin hooking it is just going just under the band 
and then coming out the other side. And I actually have another type of band on here I was going to show you. Um, I'll explain it later. But that's skin hooking it. And then you just tie a polymer knot on the end to your line and you're ready to go. You can also, um, some people get nail weights and they'll stuff them in the front or the back of their worm uh, to give it a little bit of weight. But basically, when you throw this out, it slides down and it kind of undulate, I guess. Is that the word? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like the right word to use right now. Undulates, it shakes, uh, kind of flaps like a bird as it's going down. Uh, and also, it'll, it'll drift like this. It'll just slowly sink and float. And if you shake it, if you lift the rod tip up and down, uh, bouncing it, it does this underwater. And that's your basic wacky rig. Now I want to explain some of these other ones. There's just different different baits you can use. This is a Berkeley General, a Yum Dinger, uh, Missile Baits 48, and a couple Zoom Trick Worms. Now, you notice I do have different colors on some of these. For instance, this 48. I like this bait because it's it's thinner in the middle and thicker on the ends, so it gets that has a lot more undulation, <laughs> I'd say, for this bait uh, when it goes down. So, um, anyway, I actually have um, a little hair braid or a hair band uh, that I just stuck around this one. You just double it over um, for you mamas out there with little or dads with little girls, long hair. This is a cheap way to get about four or five hundred of these little bands. Um, again, if you're in the pinch, they're not the strongest. These uh, O-rings are going to be, they're a little bit thicker, and they're going to be a little bit stronger, but in a pinch, you can use these uh, hair braid ties. You get like four or five hundred for a couple dollars at the dollar store. And they come in different colors. So for instance, on this June bug worm, it's got that red and blue flake in it, that red band. Kind of looks cool. And you don't have to use a Cinco, a lot of, or a stick bait. This, uh, I don't really consider this 48 um, a stick bait. It's similar to it, but it's more like a, a regular plastic worm to me. And then these trick worms, a lot of people use them. Um, Texas rig, just like a floating trick worm, but you can use them as a, a wacky rig bait as well. And it's the same premise. You just hook it in the middle. This last one, that's actually a piece of a straw. You can't get the little straws like you would use for like little kids cups. You have to get the bigger straws. You see the difference in the diameter on these? And basically all you do is you take some scissors, figure out, let me see if I can get it over here, figure out where you want to cut it. I usually do about a eighth to a quarter of an inch. And then cut it and then after it flies away and you find it you pick it up and you can slide it on the worm just like that and it's the same premise you can still you can still skin hook it around that bait around that piece of straw and there you go it's ready to go again this is just uh, some some tips and tricks, some hacks. If I can help it, I'm going to use this band every time. Otherwise, I'll use whatever I have around me. Um, all right, so give me a second. I'll adjust the camera and we'll tell you how I actually fish it. All right, guys, I'm back. So when I'm fishing this wacky rig, all I'm doing is trying to find something different. Um, uh, that stands out a little bit, finding some cover, some structure, um, shade lines, uh, anything that fish might be holding close to. And I'll take it and I'll just throw it over there. Throw it over, let it sink. Don't touch it. It's going to sink all the way to the bottom. Most of the time they're going to bite on the fall. 
Um, but if not, I just take my rod and I'll show you my wrist real quick. I'll just take my rod and and quickly just do little movements with my wrist and it makes this bait go crazy up under the water and then I'll stop. I'll do it two or three times, stop, let it fall all the way down, see the slack of my line and then try it one or two more times. They don't bite. I move on, throw to a new spot. Nine times out of ten, they're going to bite the first time you throw over there in the fall. Um, you just have to cover water. But this is one of the easiest and quickest ways to find fish or to at least catch something when nothing else works. Hope you enjoyed my first video. It wasn't too bad. Uh, let me know if you, you like it and if you want me to explain some other stuff that I like to do. I also have a blog that I do on WordPress. It's called Learning to Fish, or L2Fish for short, and Facebook. So if you search on uh, either WordPress, Google, or uh, Facebook, Learning to Fish, you should be able to find me and see all the other stuff I have. Let me know what other videos you want me to make, and I'll see you next time.